What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. It is Sunday here in the US. And as Elon said, we have full self-driving beta 10.69 rolling out to that limited amount of beta testers. I think he said it'd be about a thousand. And this is coming in the form of 2022.16.3.10. And as you would expect, there is a whole list of improvements and features now finally brought over from future software updates into the beta for those that were missing it. Let's go ahead and jump into it. It's a long list. We'll read through them for you guys. And as of course, as soon as we get it on our Model 3 or S, we will actually be able to show you a drive and see how it goes. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel. Let's go. All right, so first things first, again, courtesy of not a Tesla app, we do have 2022.16.3.10, like I said, and the first note on here is added a new deep lane guidance module to the vector lanes neural network, which fuses features extracted from video streams with course map data. You also then next have improved overall driving smoothness without sacrificing latency through better modeling of system and uh, accentual latency and trajectory planning. You have improved unprotected left turns, and I don't know if you guys had any issues with this, but the vehicle really hesitated at certain intersections without any sort of like uh, stoplights or anything like that. I encountered that quite a lot going out of my neighborhood personally. So this is also known as that Chuck Cook style maneuver. Then you have added control for arbitrary low speed moving volumes from occupancy network. You have upgraded occupancy network to use video instead of image for a single time step. Upgraded to a new two-stage architecture to use object commantics. You have increased smoothness for protected right turns by improving the association with traffic lights with slip lanes via yield signs with slip lanes. You have reduced false slowdowns in your crosswalks. Uh, this was actually pretty interesting here because it says this was done with improved understanding of pedestrian and bicyclist intent based on their motion. So the vehicle and the smarts behind it are now smart enough and knowledgeable enough to know if a person is moving in one direction or another to know to slow down versus just the body language of it being at a crosswalk. You have improved geometry error of ego relevant uh, lanes by 34% and crossing lanes by 21% with a full vector lanes neural network update. There's speed profiles, uh, more comfortable when creeping for visibility to allow for smoother stops when protecting from potential uh, uh, oculated objects. Improved recall of animals by 4% by doubling the size of the auto label training set. Enabled creeping for visibility at any intersection where objects might cross Ego's path regardless of presence of traffic controls. Improved accuracy of stopping positions in critical scenarios with crossing objects by allowing dynamic resolution and trajectory optimization to focus more in areas where finer control is essential. Increased recall for fork forking lanes by 36% by having topological tokens participate in the attention operation uh, of the auto regression decoder by increasing the loss applied for fork tokens. Improved velocity error for pedestrians and bicyclists by 17%, especially when Ego is making a turn by improving the onboard trajectory estimation used as input uh, to the neural network. Again, this is very comparable to what I was just speaking about earlier at the crosswalks. This is huge. That's really neat how intelligent this is getting. Next, you have improved recall of auto of object detections, eliminating 26% of missing detections from far away crossing vehicles by turning the loss of function used during training and improving label quality. Then you have improved object future path prediction in scenarios with high yaw rate by incorporating yaw rate and lateral motion into the likelihood estimation. You have improved speed when entering highway by better handling of upcoming map speed changes which increases the confidence of merging onto the highway. So this is now going to take basically in effect when you're merging onto a highway what the future speed limit is supposed to be and adjusting accordingly for that and using it in the calculation. 
You have reduced latency when starting from a stop by accounting for lead vehicle jerk. They have enabled faster identification of red light runners by evaluating the current commantic state against their expected braking profile. That's pretty neat. So the car is basically in essence going to say, hey, we basically think this car is going to run the red light instead of stopping. And of course you obviously can press the video record button at the top to send that little snippet. It does talk a little bit more about full self -drive driving suspension and I know a lot of people are asking for strikes to be reset. That's not anything to be found here. However, you can see where it says, for maximum safety and accountability, use of full self-driving beta will be suspended if improper usage is detected. Improper usage is when you or another driver of your vehicle receives five forced autopilot disengagements. A disengagement is when autopilot system disengages for the remainder of a trip after a driver receives several audio and video warnings, visual warnings for inattentiveness. Driver-initiated disengagements do not count as proper in improper usage and are expected from the driver. Keep your hands on the wheel and remain attentive at all times. So again, nothing there stating that strikes have been reset. We'll have to wait to hear if anything of that comes about. Next up is finally from anybody on 2022.24. You're getting now driver profiles that we've discussed about. So now your media player accounts are now linked to your driver's profile. So everyone can have separate ones. Regen braking. Uh, now you can see this is now going to be able to have regular brakes for instant deceleration when regen braking is limited to battery temperature. So if your battery is hard, you know that it's a lot less than that. Now it's like that. Traditional brakes and regen. Automatic supercharger reroute. Again, nothing new here, but new to this beta. It'll now reroute you to a less busy supercharger if one suddenly becomes more congested before you get there. Navigation energy predictions. This has been really clutch on our S. Uh, the energy prediction for your route has been improved by incorporating forecasted crosswind, headwind, humidity, and ambient temperature. You can line that in. Pretty neat. More accurate with our range. And a little bit more on region and flash acceleration. As you can see, in this photo here is showing you what's actually being regen in green and then actual braking in uh, this grayish part beyond that. Uh, what it's saying is the line directly above the speedometer reading on model three and Y shows the amount of regeneration braking green or acceleration black that is occurring. The center of the line is neutral where no acceleration or regenerated braking is occurring. The further line grows to the left, the greater the amount of regen braking is taking place. And the more it goes to the right, more acceleration, nothing new here, obviously. Heat pump and low voltage battery. You can now view additional information about your car by tapping control software additional vehicle information. This will now show you the type of low voltage battery installed and whether you have a heat pump or not. Powered trunk, your vehicle is, if your vehicle is equipped with a powered trunk, the update addresses an issue that could have caused your trunk from closing completely. Improved vehicle path. According to new images in this beta, it appears to include an improved vehicle path visualization that shows the vehicle's intent much further out than a previous release. They're using a roundabout right here, and you can see how far out the predicted blue line is going now. Traditionally, it would stop right around probably the corner here, and it's clearly extending much further than, uh, than what we've seen in the past. So that was a lot to decompress. That's all here. Elon was teasing that it was supposed to be much more of a massive release worth the name of 10.69 for full self-driving, but I don't see anything sneaking on here yet that will make us laugh in regards to that numbering scheme, but maybe something will come about as more people are getting it. But for now, this is the release notes. As soon as we get out of the vehicle, we'll do another walkthrough, but appreciate you guys staying through, seeing this one out. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.